Right, here we go. Another vlog for you today. We have got Cambridge at home after the horrific, terrible week we've had off the field. Today is up to those players to do it right. It's not all about them. They have gone through absolute shit, not thinking that they might not have a new training ground or even a club to be playing for next season this past week. It's going to be hard for some of those players to really get into it today. So we're going to have to be full volume here today and try and push them forward. That's what we're here for. That's what we've got to do. Cambridge are going on, on a not a great run either. So it's about us now capitalising on that and trying to push forward. But we will see what happens today. I want to say a massive, massive shout out to Lewis Wing's partner for going all over Twitter um, last night and sort of backing the fans and backing this and talking about the ownership with the allies and everything they've been given. Who knows what's going to happen? They've gone from not even knowing that they could have a training place to play for to a little light at the end of the tunnel where a consortium or investors from America and Saudi Arabia coming together, sports.com by the looks of things, that could potentially be the new owners of the football club, but we will see what happens from there. We just have to wait and see. Um, but let's find out what we can do. But with that being said, massive game. Let's get to the stadium. Let's give our support, and I will give my predictions when we get there. But without further ado, up the fuck. Right, this is a little bit different. Hair's down today. I haven't had my hair down ever since I've had long, longish hair. I'm going to watch Reading, see if that's going to be a bit of a good luck omen. Who fucking knows? Superstition's taken over today. Um, but with that lineup, I'm going for a 2 1 or 3 1 win. We have to win. I'm confident in those boys. Apparently, the, the potential investor is here today and he's in the director's box. So I'm going to try and see if I can zoom in enough to see if I can find them. But we will find out today. The queue is very fucking long. So we're going to try and see if we can get in now. But who knows what's going to happen. But let's get in there. 3-1 and let's go. Right, 28 minutes gone, nearly half an hour gone into the game and it has been, I would say, about 70% Reading. Cambridge are not really threatening at the moment. They're going to have to change something. We've been very, very good, but we have to get that other goal. Start killing these games off. We've been the better team and the fans are really up for it today and so are we. And Sam Smith is on fire. They're doubling up on Harvey Nibs and see what Right, that makes it 2-0. I'm currently outside getting a point and missed the goal, but I have seen it now on the replay. Nice little flick from Aziz over the defender to run for the halfway line. Runs in, smashes it in the bottom right-hand corner. Keeper had no chance. Getting better. That's what we needed before half-time. We need to carry on this momentum and what we're doing. Second half, let's bury them. Let's bury this and bury them. Um, but I'll give them half time for us and just second kiss isn't right. it? Right, half time, 2 0, killing the game off. We just need to carry on this momentum second half. Good first half play. Cambridge have had a couple of chances, but not too much. We've got to be careful with Lyle Taylor. He loves scoring against Reading, but good first half performance. We just need to up it the second half. Make sure we can bury this. Make sure we can do better. But let's not rest on our laurels. Let's carry on pushing. But let's see what we can do. 
Let's get into the second half, shall we? What an absolute cracker. Louis Swing tried to have a shot about five minutes before, went blazing over, but comes down on the right hand side and sort of scoops it, loops it over the keeper, and it goes into the other corner. What a goal. 3 0. Can we get four? Yes, please. Finally home. I had to go and do things. Couldn't record the energy saw. We I mean, they did the old clappy 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 happy 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 um, routine at the end, um, and I then had to leave the stadium quite quickly straight after that because uh, let's go and do something, go and do things. Um, but I am now finally home and ready to watch uh, to go through my thoughts of what happened. So Sam Smith started off the scoring um, with. Easy goal, very lacklustre defending. It was there from Cambridge. Um, and then Femi Aziz, who I missed the goal, as you guys know, because I was out getting a point, um, got a very good goal. Uh, run from his own half, went up to the keeper. One-on-one, -on -one, slotted to the right-hand side. Very easily done there. And then Lewis Wing. He had a shot about five minutes before, two minutes, three minutes before, and uh, went miles over. And I went to the guy next to me and I said, the next time he shoots, it's going in. And lo and behold, he did. And then we topped off with Kelvin's goal. I'm not even going to... If some of Wi-Fi um, got the goal at the end after a delicious first touch and volley. Um, it got us in 4-0 winners. That's probably one of the highest wins we've had all season by the looks of it. 
stats wise let's have a look at the stats you know me you know i love there's no stats oh why is there no stats i had stats in the car why are you not giving me stats now people um i'm very annoyed with that i'll have a look at my phone but yeah no so four nil winners and let's have a look see if i can find the stats here should be able to. Coventry got that absolutely ridiculous last minute goal. Stats, here we go. We finished the game on 63% possession, 16 shots, 8 on target. We had the same amount of shots on target as they had shots the whole game. We had 579 passes compared to their 325. Um, we had very, very, we did very, very well here today. Uh, close to domination, as you can probably get from it. But at the end of the day, this is what it means. It means that now we are 18th in the league. Um, oh, fuck me, maths. Seven points clear of Cheltenham, who do have two games in hand. So even if they win the both, we will still not be in the relegation zone. Um, and Carlisle rock bottom there with Port Vale as well. Cambridge, who, let's be fair, let's have a look at their recent results. So they lost 6-0 against Lincoln and then lost 4-0. They've conceded 10 goals in two games um, with Michael Morrison getting a nice little round of applause there at the end and deservedly so. But they just weren't at it and you could tell at the end of the game they, they just gave up, completely and utterly gave up, which is very wrong for their fans because I feel like if they fought a bit harder, there were times there where you could have exploited Reading, but they just didn't. Um, Gary Monk has a lot to do there um, to try and get into this into this game. So interesting to see what they, they, they've done and what they can do moving forward. But overall, 10 out of 10 performance. But as you guys know, as of yesterday, we have an interested party inside of Reading Football Club. And the interested party are these guys. Sports.com. They are a consortium type thing where they are looking to expand um, their reach throughout of Europe, America, and Asia. There was a thing that I saw on Twitter that I'm going to shout out here. Um, so give me a sec to try and find that. Give me two seconds, I'll be back. Right, so I'm going to give a shout out here to Blue and White Wall. Um, speak to him quite often. Very good lad. Um, and he's found some of the company announcements um, from Lottery.com include um, Incorporated acquires Sport Locker. So if you want to read this, then please pause the video um, and you can read through it. I'm just going to skip through. There's a couple of bits and pieces um, of what I do. The stock-based acquisition is a significant step in Sports.com's strategy to diversify and, mag and magnify its digital entertainment and sports in engagement footprint, including a service that seemingly blends sports and social for truly immersed fans' experience. Um, if we carry on going, there's a bit here they want to do. Here we go. Creating a new vision for sports entertainment. The company is initially focused on rolling out sports.com in the US and Europe, along with uh, concentrated efforts in the Middle East. .com is determined to expand globally targeting high-energy sports such as soccer, motor racing, football, basketball. I, I did all of this, uh, as you can read all of this. Um, and uh, commitment exclusivity, um, exclusive to women's sport, is expected to launch, showcasing the latest methods for fan engagement. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and also, the company previously announced plans for club acquisition, sponsorship, and media partnership programs. These initiatives internally focus on UK soccer clubs, MLS and USL, and spearheaded by Mark Bircham at Sports Direct, um, former QPR player, if I'm right, and Yeovil, amongst others. Um, and as you can see, the same type of thing as well. But we're going to look at what happened at today's game as well. I'm going to keep on his Twitter, uh, because he did a fantastic job. If you haven't already, please go over there, give him a follow. Um, he, did, he does a fantastic job. Um, with lots of stuff, lots of tweets, um, and some of them do really rattle um, some of the fan bases. But Michael Morrison, uh, Clawbin, uh, 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 clapping us before the game, 
Uh, and then some pictures of the director's box that we had today, Mark Bowen down here. John Modeski is over here as well. Um, oh, John Modeski's here with some guy that looks like he could be a, a villain in a mafia film. Um, and you, all these people over here as well. And then the representatives over here that we can find as well. But if we keep going up, there's some more stuff here today. But it looks like uh, there was photos taken as well with Bowen and a few people here. And a steward getting involved. As you do. Um, what else? Uh, also, Tom McIntyre and Nelson Abbey were at the game here today. Very good to see them back. Once a royal, always a royal. Uh, we've got nothing wrong with that. Charlie Savage letting us know what the score was today as well. Did a fantastic job. But yeah, so make sure you go and follow him. Make sure you go and give him a give him a follow. He deserves it as well. So absolutely incredible work he does as well. But yeah, one step closer, sports.com. There is also apparently a partnership they have with Paramount Plus. Documentary. Could we be on a documentary? I won't be. They don't want to. I would love to be. The new Ryan Ren. Anyway, so yeah, that is it for today. That was a fantastic performance from everyone. Exactly what we needed. Exactly what we had to give today. And um, Ireland have just won the Six Nations as I'm recording this. Literally putting up the banners now, unfortunately. So the England game means nothing. So hopefully we can win that. But yes, with love, with care, my name's with Mark. You guys have been amazing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, for today, for Deportiva La Coruña, that will be coming out later on today, coming to the end of Season 5, uh, and the end of Season 5, Europa League, can we make? Can we win a European trophy? You will have to make sure you check that out as well. And that will start tomorrow. But yes, we love it, okay, my name is Mark, you guys are amazing. Peace.